you. I'd love to hear about your summers. Well, Later. She is, and always will be, TV's Whitley Gilbert. Chrissy, Southern, loud, wrong, rude. It wasn't the most popular black character. It was one of the most popular characters on TV. You can't always predict who the audience is going to fall in love with. They fell in love with Whitley. Would you believe the Mandalay Inn was completely booked, even the presidential suite? You would think it was a holiday. <laughs> Jasmine Guy shot to fame on A Different World, one of the most groundbreaking sitcoms of its time. A Different World tripled the enrollment of historically black colleges and college period. Audiences of color were starving for images of folks that looked like them. But Jasmine was so much more than Whitley and proved it again and again. How can you ever trust a criminal? Hey, 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 sis. I'm, I'm looking at you a whole lot different now. If you keep with me, there are other skills I can employ that will give your life a turn for the strange and the painful. That role is more like me than any role I've ever played. Dancer, singer, actress, choreographer, director, teacher. Jasmine is much more than a triple threat. I mean, she's just a threat. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's a beast. But more than 20 years after A Different World, Jasmine Guy still struggles to escape from the character that made her a star. I need to go out and get dressed and come back in as Whitley, because you miss that bitch, don't you? People just scream Whitley. They can't even differentiate between the fact that that's Jasmine. Yeah. Wow. It's tough because that's not how she talks. That's not how she is. She literally is Whitley's polar opposite. And she actually detested Whitley. You think I'm Whitley. I don't think I'm Whitley. And I meet somebody who's like, man, I want to marry me some Whitley. I'm like, you did? <laughs> For real? <laughs> Unparalleled, untold, unsung Hollywood, Jasmine Guy. Jasmine Guy was born in 1962 in Boston, the oldest of two girls. Her parents, Jay and William, a white school teacher and a black Baptist minister, moved the family to New York and then to Atlanta, where they both took teaching jobs when she was seven. You might wonder why a black man and his white wife and his two little yellow children moved down to the South in 1969 at a pretty volatile time. My mother got her dashiki, came down to Atlanta, lived in an entirely black community, and dealt with it like a champ. Her father is like a pillar of the black community. And at the time, you know, he's married to a non-black woman. So yes, it was a big deal. William Guy taught philosophy and religion at Morehouse College, one of the country's oldest and most esteemed HBCUs. We grew up across the street here, but this is where we rode our bikes, and we thought we went to Morehouse. You couldn't tell us nothing, especially my little sister. She had a Morehouse beanie. We wore maroon and white. She was a little five-year-old baby girl thinking she went to Morehouse. Broke her heart to tell her that, you know, girls weren't allowed. You actually had a chance to be mentored by professional people. And it gives you a great sense of what you might want to be in your life. Both of my parents were teachers, and um, that was kind of hard sometimes. There was always some way we could do something better. Life at home may have been challenging for Jasmine, but on the street, it was just straight up hard. Living in Atlanta was when the accents were really profound and they used to circle me on the playground and make me say things. Say something, say something. And I'd be like, what? And they go, see, man, I told you she talked proper. But once the adjustment was made, I just really imitated everybody at my school. I'd be like, you know, Tracy talked like this, and Miss Piker talked like this. Do everybody, little Debbie, little Debbie talked like this. And because it was fast, it was like a language, you know? She was really 
the only light-skinned student, and she was teased about that, and her mother and I were quite concerned. When you're light-skinned, you have long hair, and you talk proper, you are like, target, target. And then my sister was sweet and quiet and angelic, so she was super targeted. It was a...